G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. And uh, welcome to my huge turtle mold. Uh, I have used this just once before and I absolutely love my new mold. This is what I made first time using it uh, with some fantasy film. That's it there. Put some glass eyes in. Put some pebbles, just aquarium pebbles in the flippers. Um, yeah, and that's what I made for my first time. So, second time. I, I have got, I've got a vision, you guys. I have a vision. We'll see if I can let it come to fruition, my vision. <laughs> All right. Um, so what I wanted to do, like that one that I did previously was pretty much... All resin except for um, the flippers, which were uh, pebbles. And, uh, you know, it is a big, deep mold, so it takes a lot of resin, about 1,400 grams. If you want to know ounces, divide 1,400 by 30. That'll give you a rough idea of the ounces. But today I thought, um, you know, we could put something in the centre uh, to maybe not use so much resin. So I've got a couple of ideas. Now, this one is a sphere mold. Um, and it is obviously, if, if you put it in there, it does obviously come up higher than the actual turtle. But that's fine. I mean, you can use a smaller one if you wanted to. But once you've put your resin up to here, uh, when you take this out, and, and you know, you can squish it and take it out, um, then your opening will be that wide. If you use a smaller one and put it down deeper, your opening is only going to be this wide. See what I mean? Like my opening is going to be quite wide. So I can put all kinds of things in there. And I will do this at a later date. But today, um, I'm not going to use that, but I will use it another time because I have an idea for that. Your minds are just swimming, aren't they? They're just overflowing with ideas now. I know, I know. But today I am using this. This is what I found um, on Amazon. I love you to the moon and back. So... Let's have a look what it is. It is a moon sphere. It's got like, I think it's 3D printed by the looks and feel of it, but it's kind of the texture of maybe the surface of the moon. So there's that. It has a little USB port underneath. Can you guess what it is? I mean, it came with some other little bits and pieces, but I'm not using those. So I'll link this for you down on Amazon. It's a little bit big, but it's the smallest one I could find. So basically what we do is I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to have to put a little bit of resin in first, only because I don't want to trap air underneath it. So I will have to put a little bit of resin in there, wait for it to kind of semi-cure and then push that down. All right, so it sits about there. It's, it's going to be just... a a tiny bit sticking out which I'm fine with I can put some little you know rubber stoppers um, on the bottom of my turtle later to to raise it up but look look it's a night light you guys look <laughs> that's gonna be so cool look isn't that so cool so you touch it to turn it off to the little silver button there touch it again you got white light touch it again and you got the orange light so I thought that would just be an amazing, amazing night light for a child's room. So I'm going to pop it back in its box for now because I don't need it just yet. So I'll put that over there somewhere safe. Now the other thing I want to do is um, I want to use I want to use these. Look at this. Aren't they gorgeous? It's clear with a little bit of gold. Gold just on one side and the rest of it's clear. And I thought that would just... You know, set off my night light amazingly. So, oh, it's a big thing. It's um, fire glass, and again, I got this on eBay. Fire glass. It's quarter inch size because there are some that are huge. This is quarter inch. Um, reflective gold. So this is a ten pound bag, um, and it's quarter inch size. Okay, fire glass. Right. I would advise you to wash it first because it's kind of dusty on the inside. But wash it and then leave it out 
spread it out to dry on a towel so that it's dried totally. You don't want water in your resin. So, I'm sorry, it's going to be a bit of a longer video, this. So what I want to do is I want to do the flippers in this, but I also want to do the head in this, okay? And I don't really want to do just like half half the head because obviously if you fill the whole head up, you know, it's gonna, the resin's going to like run down here. So you'll only get like a little amount. So I saw, oops, one of the girls on my Facebook group, and I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. I should have written it down. What she did was she put her turtle, she's got my mould. <laughs> Thank you so much for supporting me and buying it, by the way. She put hers like that and she filled the head with stones or I can't remember what she used, but I, thought, oh. I said to her, that's a genius idea. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I put that in there. I've got a little bit of resin. Don't need much because, um, you know, most of it's going to be pebbles. So and then I'm thinking, how do I hold it up? So I've come up with this little jug here. And I'm going to pop that in there like that. Try and sort of get it. That's kind of the best I thought I could get it to sit. It doesn't matter if the flippers are bent in. I just need that head down there um, to, to basically sit upright so that I can put the, um, the stones in. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. It's going to be a little bit tricky, but um, we can do it. We can do it, guys. All right, so here we go. I don't know. Oh gosh, I don't know how much you can see, but I'm sorry if you can't see properly. I'm going to just pour some resin in there. Probably made up way too much. Um, actually I might get one of these because then I can make like a little funnel. I'm just gonna, just gonna drizzle that in like so. Okay, so basically this is what it's looking like. I am gonna give it a bit of a, a squeeze just to try and get rid of any bubbles. That there might be because I'm sure there's going to be bubbles. I don't mind if there's bubbles like in the center, I just don't want any in, any in the tip, any little nose. All right, so yeah, there are bubbles in there, but like, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. So, anyway, that's that's what I'm going to do. I don't know how she held hers up. Feel free to comment down below. You know who you are, the one with the amazing idea. Let me know what you did. Did you put it in a bowl like this, or did you do something else? Not sure. All right, let's add another little bit of resin. Oops. I'm getting. I guess it doesn't matter if I get resin on there. No, I'll probably wipe that off. Anyway, a little bit more resin. A little bit more glass. It won't be quite so tricky when I come to do the flippers because it'll just be flat. So we'll do that. Um, yeah, we'll do that at a later date. So hopefully it's not going to be too much of a long video for you. I'm going to pour that into there actually, it'd be much easier. <laughs> so I am just using the Platinum Ultra Clear resin. Um, and I mixed up 70 gra 75 grams of A, 32 grams of B, and I thought that'll be more than enough for the head. But yeah, use a, use a little cup that you can actually, you know, bend and get into, get into that little area there. So I think that little head's almost full now. Actually, I guess if I put it on a bit of an angle like that, I can get it to run into the neck a little bit more. I wonder if I can do that. Put it on an angle. I don't know. Ah, it's wanting to bend. Not sure. See, ideally, ideally, you could have it like that. I don't know. You probably can't see, but on an angle. Um, anyway, I'm going to have a little play with it. You get the general idea. I'll figure out how I can get it to kind of stay on a bit of an angle like that. Maybe just do that, but on an angle like so. I think that'll be fine. I'll bring the camera down in a minute and show you what it looks like, but I think, I think that'll work. Right, I need to get some more glass out. 
All right, so I'm going to try this. I've put this big sphere mold. You know how I showed you the small one? I've got this huge one. I'm going to pop that in there. And then I'm going to put the head just in there and see if that will work. Because everything I've tried so far is kind of warping. Can someone give me a hand? <laughs> I need a hand. It's kind of been warping the head. Okay. So see if that will just sit in there pull that up a little bit I really need another pair of hands anyway that's what I'm gonna try and do oh look it's even staying but I need it to come forward a bit so see if I can do it like this this seems to be working quite well actually, this little silicone sphere. Because when I just had it in here, the, it was doing this, it was kind of squishing in like that. And um, I don't think that would work very well. So I might just leave it like that. What do you think? Try and get it on a bit of an angle. I guess it doesn't need... Oh, look, I'm, I'm probably overthinking it. It's, it's leaning that way. Um, yeah. I'll show you in a minute. I'll just fix it up. So I ended up actually swapping over to the smaller sphere because the head fits in there nicely. And I'll, because I want to tip it forward a little bit, I've just got some pop sticks and I'm going to put this sphere on those if I can on those little pop sticks down there just to kind of lean it forward a bit <laughs> I think that's working a little bit of messing around but I didn't know how to do it so anyway I think that'll work right let me get you down and see if I can show you a little bit closer what I've done so that's it sitting there like so. I've got the back, oh gosh, it's a bit hard to show. The back of the sphere, the little feet of the sphere is are sitting on the pop sticks just to kind of tilt it forward a bit. And uh, that's what it's looking like. So hopefully, hopefully that'll work. <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way. All right, now I have to wait for this to cure. Uh, and then we'll do the next step. So, yay! See you soon. All right, that's better. <laughs> I had my camera turned upside down when I was holding it over there. All right, so um, I have mixed up some Platinum 360 Plus, and I did just pop it into my vacuum chamber because I don't want any bubbles. Um, I did 100 grams of A, 43 grams of B, and I'm going to let it drop down onto the sticks so we get no splashing. So don't want any bubbles. So just a little bit. Probably that's all I need really. <laughs> I didn't need all of that. I'll make up some puffy hearts or something. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to let that cure just a little bit. Because if I put this in now, it's going to sink to the bottom. And you'll probably find that this will be poking out through the resin on the other side. But I just want to have make sure that I've got just a little layer of resin on this. I don't want this poking through. So I'm going to give that a couple of hours. I'm going to come back. I'm going to put that in. And um, I, don't, I don't want to lose much depth though, really. So it'll hopefully it'll still be soft enough to kind of squish up the sides a little bit. So I'm going to do that. So yeah, that's all I'm going to do for this little step here. Um, yeah, and then I'll see you for the next step soon. All right, so I have given this resin about half an hour just to start thickening up. It's it's a relatively fast curing resin anyway. So when I touch that and lift my stick, it's kind of making a little mound, and it wants to the resin wants to stick to it. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with it because I don't want to risk it being too too set. All right, now uh, I think I'm gonna have it this way with the little plug towards the back now I'm just gonna pop it in there 
and just see what it does. I'll give it a little bit of pressure. I hope that's <laughs> I hope it's straight. It's level, I don't know. We'll tip it this way a little bit. It might want to roll because obviously it's on a round. It's round. <laughs> so I will keep coming back and checking on it, but let's give it a little bit of pressure. I hope there's no Yeah, I hope there's no bubbles under it. I don't know. I can't tell now. But um yeah. It's done. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's a bubble underneath. I mean, it shouldn't be because, you know, it's curved. So the curve's going to hit the resin first and then hopefully just kind of spread out. So, yeah, it, it should be okay. It should be okay. So now what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to mix up my, um, my deep pour resin. I'm just going to let that sit just for another half an hour I'm going to, because I don't want the two resins blending together. Uh, wait another half an hour. I'm going to mix up my uh, deep pour resin and I'm just going to fill it up. Probably. See the the stones that I'm using they're quite big, so I can't I can't put much resin in here because I need a lot of room at the ends here for pebble, uh, well, the, the glass, and I'm have to take out some little pieces to put up here where it's a bit shallower. But the rest of it will be fine. It's just these little areas here which are the most shallow uh, that I'll have to pick out some small pieces for. Now, when you're doing layers in resin, if you wait for your first layer to cure totally and then put your next layer on, you're going to see that ring around. Whereas if you don't wait so long and the resin's still a bit soft, um, the likelihood of that join. That's my timer to come back and check this. Um, hopefully it won't be too noticeable. So yeah, do it while your resin's still a bit soft. I will be back when it's time to pour the next layer. Right, I have mixed up some of the Let's Resin Deep Pour Resin. Um, you can pour it up to four inches, which is 10 centimeters, which is not as much as what this is, so you can pour your whole turtle in once if you want to. Um, now, I have got 325 grams of A, 140 grams of B, so what's that? 465 grams, so just under two cups. I wasn't exactly sure <laughs> how much to put in because, you know, I've already filled the head. I'm not doing the flippers now, I'm just doing this body. Now, let's see if I can... Oh gosh, how am I going to do this? I'm going to put that there so that I can pour the resin onto the stick. Actually, you know what? I want to, oh gosh, I'm going to spray it first. Just to help stop any, any little bubbles forming. Just with some isopropyl. All right, here we go. Here we go, filling it in. I don't know if this is going to be enough or, or how much I need, but we'll see. I can always make up more if I need to. Just basically wanted to get that night light sphere in. And of course, you know, if you put it in <laughs> when your resin's still wet, it might float away. It, it could, I don't know. It's not very heavy. All right, there we go. I'm not going to scrape my cup. All right, well, that's that's pretty good. Whoops, cup just fell over. Um, That's pretty good. I think I'll just mix up a little bit more. Um, just want it to kind of come, for this next layer, I'd like it to come up up a little bit more. Haven't gone into the tail yet. All right, I'm going to mix some more up and then I'll be right back. All right, you guys, it's actually the next day and it has set. So it has been very hot though, so it's probably why it's set super fast. Now, I, um, I'm in a little bit of a dilemma because I don't know how I'm going to stop this, the crushed glass from going into the middle. Now I have got some resin in here because you know how I said I wanted to put a little bit of resin into the flippers but I don't really want the crushed glass in this section. I want to keep that clear 
and I want to have just the glass in here so I, I don't know we'll just have to see how it goes I, yeah I don't know I might have to come push them anyway I don't know um, and then depending on what it looks like I may use my gold deco color pen to outline the shell just to tie the little bit of gold that's in there 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 and there into the shell so I may do that I may do that all right so here we go <laughs> Here we go, here we go. Um, I wonder if I need to just de-vac this. I didn't, de I didn't put it in the vacuum chamber because I thought I was just putting stones in it, but I might have to just pop it in there. I'll just, I'll just go and pop it in the vacuum chamber for five minutes. Hang on. All right, all done. Popped it in there. Vacuum chamber. Still got a few little micro bubbles. I only brought it up once and then dropped it back down. So, yeah, probably could have done it longer, but um, it's starting to warm up already. So let's just do this. I'm going to give it a quick little spray with some isopropyl alcohol. And yeah, somewhat. I don't know whether oh, there's a tiny bit of room still left in the tail. <laughs> My last layer almost filled the tail but not quite so let's just pour some in here i mixed up this is the platinum ultra clear it's pretty thin it's a two to one um, and i did uh, 200 grams of a and 86 grams of b i'm just trying to get the resin to go into that last little area in the tail which it has there we go you can see the bubble come out. I don't want a torch because <laughs> I don't want to burn the mold, but I just want to get that bubble away. Go away, bubble. Okay, there we go. Once it's away in the middle, then I can just give it a zap, but I don't want a torch near the mold because I don't want to burn my mold. Alrighty. So, um, I think what I'll do now, I've still got some left. I think what I'll do now is I'll just make sure that the actual flippers have all got some resin on the base there just so that I'm not putting the glass in on a dry mold because I don't want it to you know catch any bubbles again I don't want the bubbles oh gosh all right here we go now so if there's like really big pieces I may just Take them out. No, you stay there. Don't, don't, don't go any further. I see you. You guys, you guys need to stay here, right? You need to stay up here. Whoa. Drop some on the floor. I better pick that up before I stand on it. All right. So I think what I'll do is I'll get my little silicone brush. And then if any decide to sort of move, I'll just push them back up. I mean, I don't mind if a couple come over, but I, I'm trying to keep the body clear and just put all this in here. Now, I need to put more resin into there because I can see that it's just dry in there. There's no resin under it. So I might go to a little cup. You know I love my little cups. Because I can pinch the cup and uh, just put it where I want it along the edge there make sure I've got it into the corner of that little flipper there now because the my little sphere here is higher than the sides I need to put some feet or some kind of something underneath the turtle once it's done to raise it up which is, is okay I knew I was going to do that so um, yeah I don't mind if like some of this glass sort of protrudes through the top because um, I am going to be putting it up on little little feet little turtle feet let's see how much I can get in here Another 
So yeah, basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to add some glass, I'm going to add some resin, add, add some glass, add some resin um, until, until I'm happy with it. This is working okay, you guys. It's, it's working okay. Look, it's not, they're not moving because it's, it's flat. Because, uh, because of the layer that I put in yesterday, um, you know, on, onto that um, flipper there. So the flipper's not actually angled now because of that bit of resin that's in there. So it's kind of more flat. If you know what I mean, <laughs> so the glass isn't falling straight off. So um, I won't bore you with um, watching me do all this, but that's basically what I want to do. I'm just going to do this until I've got it filled up. Uh -huh. I'll keep them straight. <laughs> so yeah. Um, and then I've got a little bit more resin. It's getting warm, I better pour it in. I'm just gonna pour it into here. Oops. I mustn't have, because um, I didn't pour it all in at once, the middle's heavier. So I'm gonna go over there, I'm gonna go over. Well, actually, I know, actually, no, I know what it's from. Um, I didn't video it because I was all in a tiz. When I put my um, resin in there, this started floating. So I weighed it down. And I put that on it. And then I put a bottle of um, resin on top. So what it's done is it's pushed these, these two sides down. It's pushed them down. That's why it's lower there and there. I didn't realize that when I was um, when I was doing it. I didn't realize that it was doing that. So, never mind. Never mind. Okay, so I will just continue doing this and filling up my resin here, and uh, I will see you when it's ready to unmold. It's going to be so exciting. It's going to be so exciting, you guys. You guys. I have a feeling that the head is going to be more concentrated because this is, the, the head's much thicker with the glass and this is only a thin little bit of glass. So the head might look a different shade, I guess. might look darker, I guess. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Um, I'll leave it there. I'll just keep playing a little bit more because I want to add a bit more glass here and there. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, I will see you for the unmolding. So that's going to be super exciting. See you soon. Okay, guys, it has cured. I am super, super excited to get it out. I'm going to do it now before I go to bed, even though it's still a tiny bit soft. But um, it wants to come out. Look, it wants to come out. It's just a little bit soft still. All right. Let's, let's do this. I'll start... I'll just sort of loosen a few things around the back. Just loosen everything up. It's not a difficult mold to unmold. It's the little tail there. Look, it just comes out nice and easily like that. Everything just pops off easily. You've got these little handles on the side there <laughs> that you just pull down on there. So what I basically do is get everything out and then leave the little head for last. Now hopefully, I can't fit it all in. I can't fit it all in the screen, I'm sorry. So let's just hook that over. I'll get this out. There we go. There we go. It's it out. Look at that little tail. Isn't it just adorable? <laughs> as adorable as tails can be. All right. Now, look at that. I told you it was easy to unmold. And then you can use this little bit on the top there just to kind of wriggle that loose. Like that. Or you can just, oops, a little bit loose. I think I'll just Peel that, I think, just like so. Not hard to do. 
just trying to be careful I don't drop it I'll, I'll hold it on here I'll hold it here <gasps> look you guys look <gasps> and there it is thought it was easy to unmold not a problem at all oh look at that now I did say to you that I thought that the head was going to be a different sort of color because it is so much thicker chunkier with the um the glass whereas here it's only a little thin thin bit for the glass all right now what I think I'll do is oh I don't know what to do first all right let's let's just flip her over eh? let's flip her over there we go okay so that's what's to be expected um and now I know you can see the the ball in there but I want to see the little silver button there just going to I'll press that and then actually let's um let's let's turn off the light let me turn off the light first just these ring lights the bright ring lights I'm just going to turn those off okay because you can't really see very well I'll turn those off old Charlie boy the dogs get all excited when I turn the lights off because they think it's bedtime. Oh, gosh. Oh, look how cute it is. It's so adorable. Oh. Actually, the head doesn't look too too different, does it? No. Now, I've still got my light, my overhead lights on. I've just turned off the, um, the bright lights. Look at that. Look at that. <gasps> it's so cool. I'm just going to leave it there. For a minute and I'm gonna go and turn off the um ceiling lights as well okay all right I should have enough light to see where I'm going there we go <laughs> how's that how cool is that hey look at that that is so cool it's just a lovely little night light wow love it you guys what do you think? Hey! It's just a lovely little nightlight for a, a child's room, I guess. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I've touched the underneath and I've gone from cold light to warm light. So that's the warm light. And then obviously if I touch it again, whoa, we've gone dark. <laughs> Come back. There we go. So basically you just have to touch the bottom. Um, so, I mean, you could just leave it like that. It doesn't sit too high off the off the bench or um, you could just get some little some little silicone stoppers or something and you know put it underneath but um yeah it's not doesn't stick out too high and this was the smallest um sphere that I could find oh I love it you guys let me know what you think of it now I don't know whether or not you would put like glass in this whole section here you know I I didn't want to I did think about it but in the end I decided I was just going to do it in the flippers and the head and leave the rest clear just so that um, you know it could sort of shine through that that shell so in the morning it's late now in the morning um, I think I'll come back in with my little deco color pen and um can't even see where the grooves are. Oh, look at that. I won't do it now. Let's do this one. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think tomorrow. What do you think? I mean, I can, wi I can wipe it off if you don't like it. But um, do you think that'll look nice? With the, um, doing the shell in gold. You might not be able to see too much of it in the dark, obviously. But during the, the daylight... Do you think that would look nice? Just looking at it down through my, my screen from up above. It does define the shell, doesn't it? Um, what I might have to do is actually do two coats because um, you can kind of see through the pen there. So I might have to do one coat and then let it dry. Uh, and then go over it again with another coat. Otherwise, you could use um, a paint with paintbrush. I would suggest um, like an 
oil-based enamel paint but it's just so quick with this pen but yeah I'll leave it I'll leave it like, like that for now it's hard not doing more it's hard not doing more but to know I, I need do need to go to bed it's late so anyway there we go um gives you a little idea anyway of what it would look like with with the gold and then obviously in daylight the gold would pick up the gold in the um in the actual stones there how's that I'm gonna leave it like that for a minute i'm going to take a photo of it all right i'm going to see you guys in the morning and i'll finish this okay